हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पांडे गुरुजो यूट्यूब चैनल वन ऑफ माय यूट्यूब सब्सक्राइबर नेम इज जेके फन हु आक्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज विल हेल्प लॉट ऑफ द पीपल हु रियली इंटरेस्टेड टू लर्न दिस इक्वल सो यू कैन सी यर द क्वेश्चन इज सर हाउ टू अपलोड एक्सल डेटा इन सीक्वल सर्वर uh pro practices may be data in the csv format so actually i uh, missed this question so uh, sorry for that uh, jk fun okay so basically uh, the question is uh, very helpful uh, to practices point of view and uh, if you also have the any type of the question and uh, if you have the any type of the uh, scenario based like uh, it very helpful to you to learn the sql uh you can put this question on the comment i will pick up uh, the question uh, from the comment and i will definitely provide you the solution uh, by just creating the video okay so in this video i will show you how you can upload the excel data into the sql server uh, for the practice also uh, for the database data update also so uh, keep watching and uh, please uh, if you not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and at least uh, please like the video as well and the share the video uh, who need this type of the help okay so this is the my uh, humble request to each and every one so let's show you uh, what uh, what type of the data i have for this practices so you can see i have this uh, data into the csv file so i have the employee key first name last name and phone number so how we can i taken this data as an example but if you have the large amount of data uh, you can also follow the same process so i have the employee key first name last name imp, uh, phone number and this data i need to be upload into the sql server this data i need to be upload into the sql server table uh, just for the practice purpose so uh, what how you can achieve it so this file is located in my local machine and uh, just you need to go with the sql server management studio and uh, we will do through the query we have also the alternate way uh, that is the import and export uh, that uh, process will little bit lengthy and uh, that will be not work but uh, this process is definitely work 100% uh, by using the query okay so uh you can write not, write down the same code uh, whatever the i am written here written here so just you can pause the video and you can follow the step by step so here uh, i am doing this process by using the dynamic sql so i am declaring the variable and uh, here i variable name is the at the rate sql and and where care 4000 you can take any variable name and i am declaring the another the variable that is the source path Uh, that is the end where care and i am putting this force pass is basically used to uh, where file is located so i put it, my file is located into the e drive and the file name is the test1 dot csv if you have the text file you can put the dot txt you have the excel file you can put the excel file extension so whatever the file you have uh, then i am creating one one table the first i'm taking this table is already available so my table is name is the contact information and uh, you need to be create the table the same name whatever the uh, header available into the excel file so excel file we have the employee key first name last name and the phone number by using the same thing i am creating here the employee key first name last name and the last name and the phone number so phone number i put at the uh, big int and uh, then you need to put the set statement set sql is equal to uh, bulk insert bulk insert is basically used to uh, just insert the data from the any of the flat file like the uh, text files excel file csv file and this is the contact information is the table name and the from the source path we use the uh, uh, we use the dynamically here uh, so you can any time if the location is got change just you can change the location here so i use the concatenation here and the first row is always two if the excel have the header you need to put the 
first row is equal to 2 and the if actual has the doesn't have the reader header uh, header means the employee key first name last name you need to put here 1 because we need to be read the data from the row number 2 and uh, data file uh, type is equal to always care and uh, file uh, uh, file terminator is equal to comma and uh, row terminator is equal to new line okay so uh, just you can put the same code here and then you need to be execute the sql okay so this is the dynamic sql which is the basically we executing the sql and uh, here i'm just checking the data is loaded into table or not so once you execute this part of the code now you can see this table is not created and doesn't have any data so if you execute uh, you can see all the data will be loaded so if you match uh, 1 to 11 we have this uh, data and this is the contact number uh, if you match with the excel file also the same contact number will be loaded into the file here okay so like this uh, we can uh, use the dynamic sql concept to load the data and they practice it and if you have any question if you have any doubt uh, please put the question into the comment box uh, i will provide you the uh, video like this and if you not subscribe my channel uh, please subscribe as well thank you so much for watching this video thank you